Earlier today when I got back to the car, it showed me the update icon. I pressed on it and initiated manually an update. Then it had a countdown and told me I have to leave the car and lock it so the update could start. Then I saw a loading screen and also a fault bus would change where it showed that an update is going on. Interesting was it would show the recall icon but when I clicked on it, it said no recalls. Then was also interesting that the lure would open on the car and the loading screen would mention it could take up to 30 minutes. I waited for about 10 minutes. Now the car has finished the update, so I get here this icon. I press on it. It says update successful. The system was updated successfully. Now let me check what was in the update. System updates. It says here the most recent update included the following Ford power up. We heard what you had to say and we took action. The brake pedal if feels now modified to allow for smooth brake. On top of that we've done some additional minor fine tuning here and there to help ensure things are running smoothly. As a result of these actions you may see a message in your screen behind the steering wheel stating reverse, reverse braking assist not available, see manual. This message is accurate but will clear in just a couple minutes into your drive and the feature will then be available. Here it says recall 22S41 and 22S29. We upgraded software on your vehicle to protect high voltage battery components from excessive heat generating during DC fast charging and the repeated full throttle events. This completes safety recall 22S41. For those customers who, who received a letter about recall 22S29, this update also fixes a software glitch in your vehicle that could potentially cause unintended acceleration, unintended de deceleration or unintended vehicle movement. This completes safety recall 22S29. There's nothing you need to do. Ford power updates like this let us handle recalls without the inconvenience of asking you, you to leave home. At Ford we value your safety and respect your time. Ongoing updates like this help you enjoy the best possible version of your Mustang mach -E vehicle. So this shows what was updated now. I hope really this will solve the issue with the contactors in the battery. I just hope they are not worn out yet and still cause issues. I kept reading in several sources like in my key forum and also Facebook that people after the update still had uh, faults and had to get towed and had to get fixed at the dealer. Let's hope the best. Hey, you're still here. So why not hit the like button and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. Thank you.